Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. It's Sunday, July 14th of 2013. And what you're looking at... Okay, something's definitely not right here again. I'm sorry, this keeps happening, folks. There's a little piece of tape on this Packard Bell. So, um, I'm... Ah, I took that off there. And what you're looking at is my Packard Bell Legend 822 uh, CDT. There's the back of it. All kinds of good stuff back there. And I, um, I made somewhat of an upgrade, I guess you could call it, yesterday to the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. Would you like to know what it is? Well, I'm too sleepy. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, did you actually think I was going to do that? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to have to open this Packard Bell up to show you. It's inside, so give me a minute or so, please. Okay, what this is here is a um, Transcend Compact, Compact, um, Compact Flash, um, two gigabyte um, card, adapted into this um, Compact Flash to IDE adapter. I'd been considering doing a a project like this for quite some time, at least a year or two. And um, I was kind of unsure about it until the other week when I um, sent YouTube user UXW Bill a message asking him his opinion on it. And he said that he really didn't see why this wouldn't work. So, um, and, I, and UXW Bill is a guy I, <laughs> whose opinion I really cherish and um, accept. So I got on eBay and I. First, I bought this used um, Transcend Compact Flash 2 Gigabyte card that was about six or seven dollars, and this adapter, which was about ten dollars, I think. All in all, it wound up being a little over twenty dollars for all this. And then I had to go to my local computer shop here in Greensboro and buy this little um, Molex adapter because the Packard Bell power supply only has one. Um, floppy drive style Molex connector so I needed a second one right here because this is what this card uses and to my surprise it actually works perfectly the only problem I've been having with it is finding a place to mount it um, yesterday I took the hard drive caddy out um, which is right here I Obviously, don't really need it anymore since I don't use a hard drive in, it, in here anymore. And I put some electrical tape around it and stuck it to um, right in here, um, kind of where the hard drive caddy um, used to be. But unfortunately, um, as I when I opened this up about a minute or two ago, it had come loose, so. Perhaps I didn't tape it back in as good as I needed to, so I guess I will do that, and we'll we will take a look at how this computer boots up now. Okay, we got everything hooked back up over here in its regular location. So we're gonna see how um, this computer boots up now. Um, first, we'll turn the monitor on. That's always a good thing to have on a computer. We will um, now. Power up the 822. Alright, here comes power on self test. Everything is normal um, looking. 32 megabytes of RAM, 100 megahertz Pentium. See right there, fixed disk zero, transcend. That's, that's the compact flash card. Now we're booting into Windows 95. And there we go, um, it's 
operates just like it should. Um, now, in case you're wondering, this is not a new installation of Windows. This is the same copy I had on my um, well, original Western Digital Drive I had in here. All I had to do was just use a Chronos Select OS Selector um, Disk Administrator and copy the partition table over to the Compact Flash, and I didn't lose any files. Um, it was pretty much exactly like I had it. Now, as you saw when it booted up, there's really no difference in speed. I know um, you're probably thinking this is going to be like a solid-state drive in a modern computer. Well, yes and no. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this the best way. Um, because this is such an old computer, it, um, it's, I guess it's IDE controller, it's drive controller, um, can only go as fast as it's designed so um, there's really no difference in speed however what this will give me is better reliability and much more longevity, longevity because as you know these old hard drives are starting to die out now and people need to keep these computers going who people who, who are crazy and collect these like I do so um, yeah, um, now I had heard stories about, um, these compact flash cards having, um, very small, um, a very small number of write cycles, meaning that now, like, a hard drive, a regular old-fashioned hard drive, um, has, like, almost unlimited write cycles, but a compact flash card like what's in here now, um, it doesn't have nearly as much, and I've heard stories about compact flash cards, um, people using them as a computer's hard drive, crapping out after a year or so, um, but according to UXW Bill, he said that he had never really heard stories about that, but, it, and it doesn't really seem all that legible, so, and he said that he's had compact flash cards and computers before that have lasted years, so, I should be good to go. Um, I know one thing that's different now is there's no hard drive noise at all. Um, about all the Packard Bell here has is um, for no for noise is the actual speakers and um, of course and the power supply fan and all the other fans in this computer. So um, you, there's pretty much no hard drive noise. The hard drive light um, does still flash when it needs to. Um, I'll see if I can get it to flash. Uh, I just did a little bit, but um, it that still works as as it always has. So, um, yeah, it's... I'm pretty impressed with it. <laughs> and after all this, it's still, it's still a Packard Bell. It still has all the original Packer Bell hardware and software, and it's and most importantly, it's still a Packer Bell Legend 822 CDT, the first computer I ever owned, and I think that's just awesome. <laughs> Eight years, folks, looking for this. I can't shut up enough about that. So um, we'll go ahead and shut it down. Alright, it's still safe to shut the computer off, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to show, um, and by the way, yes, I was able to remount the adapter into the, in, into the inside of the computer. I used a little bit more electrical tape than I used last time, so we'll see how long it lasts this time. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a better way of mounting it, but that's about all I could come up with for now. But anyway, I guess we'll um, call this a video. This is Billy Core signing off on July the 14th of 2013. Goodbye.